Now we're in contract prior to contingencies being removed. Now we're in business. This is exciting, isn't it? Well, don't get too excited just yet. We have to go through the contingency timeframes. The buyer will now secure their loan, have the inspections on the property, and review all the reports and disclosures. This will typically take anywhere between five and 20 days, depending on what you initially agreed on when you wrote the contract. In some cases, when you're dealing with a very desirable home that had many multiple offers on it, we can negotiate with no contingencies. But this isn't always the common practice. During contingency timeframes, the buyer can back out of the home if they're not happy with what they discover in any of the reports and disclosures, inspections. Once they review the reports and the inspections, this is typically when the buyer will ask for any repairs or credits for any deficiencies that they found. Also, if for some reason the buyer is not able to qualify for the loan or the home did not appraise for what the contract price was, and we can't come up with any kind of a mutual agreement between the two parties, the buyer can back out. You need to understand that if a home does not appraise for the contractual amount, the lender will only loan on the appraised value. And obviously they take into consideration what the buyers actually qualify for. Any additional money to make up the difference between the appraised price and the contract price would need to come from the buyer or the seller would have to adjust the contractual price. Again, unless you address these contingencies prior to signing the contract, they're made part of this contract and the buyer has the right to back out and as a seller, we cannot retain their uh, earnest money deposit. That's why it's essential to hire an agent like myself who knows how to properly vet the buyers and their offer, who asks the right questions and has the right conversations with the agent and the lender. The buyer's deposit is only at risk if they have officially removed their contingencies. So I always advise my clients not to start packing their bags until all contingencies have been removed. Also, be sure to get contingencies removed as soon as possible and stay within the contractual timelines as much as you can. Once contingencies are removed, well, now you get a little bit of relief and there's more assurance that the home is actually going to sell. And be sure to watch the next video to see what happens next and what to expect. And feel free to reach out to me personally or someone on my team so we can find out what your needs are so we'll be able to properly serve and advise you. And as always, make it a great home selling and buying day.